All right. Today, we're holding a security house competition. A security house competition? That sounds like fun! That means Carrie, Banana Kid, and I will build a security house over here. If Mikey's able to break through our security systems, then he wins. Nice! That sounds like fun! Okay, Mikey, you can go hang out somewhere else until we finish building our security house. Hmm, got it! Well, JJ, whatever kind of security you end up building, I'm still gonna speed right through it. All right, everyone, I guess I'll go get ready, too. Wow, Mikey's brimming with confidence. Let's do our best to build the ultimate security system. To start with, let's build our first security measure right here. We'll build an arrow security measure. I'll place these blocks here, and then place a line of dispensers on top of them. Next, I'll connect them with a redstone circuit. Now to place a bunch of arrows into the dispensers. All right, all done. Huh? Banana Kid, are you placing lava on them? Huh. Oh, wow, that's incredible. The arrows catch on fire. Banana Kid, were you upgrading the security arrows? Well, thank you, Banana Kid. Let's keep this up and make more security. We can build our second security measure over here. I'm planning on making a honeybee security measure. For starters, I'll put a tree here. Next, I'll place a beehive inside the tree. Now I'll leave a chest at the base of the tree. And fill the inside of the chest with tons of honey. For this security measure, I'm banking on Mikey taking the honey from the chest. Once he does that, the bees will get angry and attack. First, I think I'll place a command block a small distance away that can summon a big swarm of bees. I'll set it up over here. Now to input the coordinates of the beehive. There we go. I'll put a lever on it like this. Now, when we flip the lever, a huge swarm of bees will appear from inside of the tree and attack. What else is there? I'd like to make a cage here to trap Mikey in with the bees. How should I do it? Hmm? Carrie? It looks like she's making something with command blocks. What's she doing? What is it? Whoa, cool! Is that a glass cage? Are you making that using commands, Carrie? Aw, oh, thank you! All right! Now our bee cage security is complete. For our third thing, we'll build a lava parkour course. I'll start by using a command to make a massive pool of lava. Now that I have that done, I'd like to make a parkour section here. Could you two help me? Aw, thank you! All right then, let's see. Hmm, let's make the parkour course climb into the air. Great, this looks good. I'd like to finish with a dive into some water, so I'll put a little swimming pool here. There, that does it. Now our lava parkour course is complete. Let's move on to build our next security measure. I know exactly what to make for number four. We're gonna build a TNT run right over here. First, I'll use a command to scoop out a humongous pit. Hmm, that's good. But I should make the pit even deeper. I'll keep repeating the command until it's deep enough. Whoa, that's deep. Next, right in the middle, I'll place a huge amount of TNT. Hmm. Then, I'll place a layer of sand over that. I'll put pressure plates on the top layer. It's set up so that when you try and cross it, if you aren't fast enough, the path will fall away beneath you. Hmm? What are Banana Kid and Carrie up to? It looks like they're making something. Hmm. What 
could they be building? I have no idea. Hey, what did you two build? What's this button for? Whoa, a secret path? Interesting. We can use this to cross over to the other side. Nice. Thanks, you two. Let's keep up the pace and build something else. For the fifth security measure, I want to build security pitfalls. These are going to be two different choices. The first pit will be the correct choice. Then I want the next pit to be the wrong choice. I'll start by using a command to make a giant pit. I'll make another one on this side too. These commands are a huge help in creating pits. For this next part, I'll make the pit on this side the wrong choice. First, I'll put blocks of lapis lazuli on the bottom. Hmm. This way, when you look at it from above, it'll just look like water. When Mikey dives in here, he'll take fall damage. He'll be so confused. Time to build the other side. I'll actually put water in the bottom of this one. Okay, the trick is that it shouldn't look like the right choice, so I'll put some signs around here to cover it up. I'll trick Mikey into thinking this is the wrong choice. He'll have no idea. I'll make sure there are a ton of signs, just like this. There, we're all done. Next, I'll pour lava on top of it. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. All done. Now, when you look at it from above, it looks like the bottom of this pit is full of lava. But if you dive into it, you'll land safely in the water at the very bottom. All right, now that my two pitfalls are complete, let's create something to keep Mikey from wandering off the course. I'll surround everything with lasers. Let's start with these blocks. All right, the lasers are finished. Moving on to the next security measure, let's build an underground room off the pits. Down at the bottom here, I want to open this up. I'll start by using a command here. Hmm. That'll make a big room. Yeah, it worked. Next up on this side, let's connect the room to the correct pit. Okay, this space is where we'll build the final security measure. I'm gonna hide three different keys in this room, and if you can't collect all the keys, you'll be trapped in here forever. You guys can help me hide the keys somewhere in this room. <laughs> Thank you. As for mine, hmm, I know exactly where to put it. I'll dig a hole underground with a chest in it and then hide my key inside. Next, I'll put a sticky piston here to hide it. Hmm. And I think I'll build a fountain to cover it. Now I'll pour water out here. What's next? I'll put a button right here. Pushing the button will open up the floor, allowing you to take the key from the chest. Oh, Banana Kid, how's it going? Hmm? Oh, wow, there's a chest there. Awesome, there's the key I gave you. That's genius, your key is hidden safely inside the wall. Great job, Banana Kid, thanks. I wonder how Carrie's doing. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Oh, hang on. Would this painting happen to be a secret entrance? Oh, wow, I knew it! It is a secret entrance. And you've hidden a chest inside. Whoa, impressive, Carrie. I think this will be really hard to find. With that, all three keys have been hidden somewhere in this room. Next up, I'll make doors for those keys to open the far side of the room. To do that, I'll start by making another room over here. I'll use blocks of diamonds for this final room. I'll start by giving it iron doors. This room will be set up so that inserting the keys will open the doors. should be all of them. I'll hide all of this with more blocks of diamonds. Ah, 
All right. Now, if you insert all three keys, the door's open. The door system is complete. To wrap this up, the diamond room will be Mikey's goal. I want to make this last room really extravagant. I'll put some beds here to take it easy on. Next, I'll place a television over here. Aw, thanks, Carrie. I guess I'll put a gaming computer in this corner. That should do it. Nice. Aw, thanks, Banana Kid. I suppose I can put a refrigerator in here, too. Good job, Carrie. All right, it's finished. There are beds, a television, and even a gaming computer to make this a nice place to hang out and relax. Now, what else is there to do? If Mikey manages to make it all this way, should we leave him some treasure as a reward? In that case, let's give Mikey a nice prize. I think I'll leave Mikey a set of diamond armor. He's earned it. How about I leave stacks of cash as well? Now that's a lot of money. Next up, I'll put coins over here. Then I'll copy this. Hmm. Awesome! That's some serious treasure. Whoa! We even have golden apples? One more thing. Let's have fireworks go off when Mikey enters the room. I'll cut this back. We'll need a row of dispensers. Then I'll put stacks of fireworks inside. Let's make sure we have room for a redstone circuit. But first, I'll put pressure plates here. Hmm. Now I'll make sure everything is connected. Great! With that, our security house is complete! Let's call Mikey over. Mikey, thanks for waiting. We're all ready to go. Oh, it looks super fancy! Uh-huh. It's gonna be difficult for you to break into this security house. You think so? Just watch me, JJ! I prepared by bringing equipment with me. No way! You're decked out in netherite armor? Cool! I also have this! Oh, a shield! That's right! A shield can block any type of attack. So no matter what kind of security you came up with, it'll be a piece of cake for me! Wow, you're well prepared, Mikey. Let's get this competition started. Mikey, if you can break through our security system, then you win. <laughs> well, everyone, are we ready? On your mark, get set, go! Good luck getting through this! It's gonna be no problem! After all, I have the ultimate shield! No security system will be able to stop me now! Alright! Now, Banana Kid, activate! Huh? Hey! Are those arrows? What do I do? Oh, hang on! This won't hurt a bit with my shield! Shields really are the best! <laughs> this is a piece of cake! Wow! Whoa! Incredible, Mikey! Let's move on to our next security measure. The first security measure gave me a tough time. I wonder what the next one will be. Hmm? There's a chest here! What could be inside? I gotta know! I'm opening it up! Huh? It's honey! Woohoo! It looks great! Mikey, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. But after dealing with that first security measure, I'm exhausted! I'll drink this to get my energy back. Glug, 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 glug. Carrie, do it now! Glug, glug, yummy! Huh? I'm trapped! What do I do? All right, now's our chance while Mikey is panicking. Three, two, one, on! What's happening? <laughs> huh? Hold on! A huge swarm of bees came out of that tree! What now? Since 
you drank the honey, that swarm of bees seems pretty angry. <gasps> no way! Mikey got killed and respawned outside the cage. Ouch! That hurt! Those bees were really angry. Impressive work, JJ! I'll shake it off and do my best to break through the next security measure. The next security measure is a parkour course. A parkour course? I'm great at parkour courses! I'll get through it easy peasy. Besides, today I have the ultimate enchanted netherite armor equipped. Even a little dip in the lava is no problem for a tough guy like me. This'll be a quick win. All right, time to speed through your parkour course. Well, good luck, Mikey. Yes! Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hang on! Oh, that's hot! Ouch! At least I still have my netherite armor on. I'm gonna be just fine. Ouch! Ah! I died! Even though I was wearing netherite armor. I guess I'll try it again. Mm-hmm. Go for it. All right. You had good momentum earlier. All right. Huh? Huh? Whoa. I've already come so far. Come on. Whoa. Be careful. Of course. Huh? This spot looks tough, but I'm gonna beat it. Yes. I'll jump one block at a time. All right. I'm almost there. is all that's left. I'll aim for the goal! Jump! Hooray! Wow! Awesome, Mikey! I made it! That lava is scorching! This water feels great! <sighs> I'm tired! I think I'll take a little break here. All right! Well, the next security measure is a TNT run. Okay, Mikey's taking a break. Quick, let's use the secret path. <sighs> Let's push this and cross before Mikey notices. Yes! All right, Mikey, time to keep going! Huh? Oh, JJ! When did you get over there? I must have rested for longer than I thought. Okay, time to take on the next security measure. Can you make it across here? Huh? There's something up with this path. There are pressure plates all over it. Oh, hang on. There's TNT underneath. I know what this is. It's one of those things where the ground falls out when you step on it, isn't it? Nice, you figured it out. Well, if you all made it across, then I think I can get past this pretty easily too. The trick is to dash straight through it. This is gonna be a piece of cake. All right, JJ, here I come. I just have to get a running start and... Go! No. I got this! <laughs> Wait! <gasps> Mikey fell into the void! No way! <sighs> I failed! I'll just pick myself up and try again. I got it this time. Good luck! This time, I'm building up even more momentum! All right! I'm doing it! No. Whoa! I did it! That was awesome! Woohoo! So, what's the next security measure? Huh? There are pitfalls here. This side has water at the bottom. And this side? It has lava at the bottom. Huh? Pits with water and lava? Am I supposed to choose one? I know exactly what to do. From this height, I can survive if I fall into the water, right? That's why I'm gonna choose the water. Are you sure about that, Mikey? Huh? Of course I am. Besides, if I fall into lava, it'll be hot and painful. I'm definitely gonna choose the pit with water. Well, here I go. I'm breaking through. Huh? I died! <gasps> what just happened? Take a closer look at the bottom of that pit. Huh? That's not water, it's lapis lazuli. Oh, no kidding! Hang on a second, JJ. If this side was the wrong choice, 
Then does that mean the lava pit is the correct one? It might be. Huh. Is it really okay to jump into lava? If I'm gonna beat all your security measures, then the lava is my only choice. All right, I'm ready for this. Three, two, one, go! into the lava, but I survived. Mikey, there was actually water beneath the lava. Oh, no kidding. I did it. I made it through the lava pit. But hang on, I'm absolutely exhausted. What is this room? Wait, there are doors on the far side. What are they for? I can see piles of treasure in there! What's all that about? I'm gonna get my hands on it! Huh? Hang on! These doors won't open at all! If you want to open those doors, Mikey, then you'll need to find the three keys hidden somewhere inside the fountain room and place them in the item frames on the wall. Huh? Oh, I get it now! I just need to find the three keys hidden in this room? Yep, that's how it works. Still, they're hidden in very difficult places, so I think it'll be hard to find them. Huh? Not for a genius like me. It'll be easy finding the keys in a room this small. Huh? Hold up. This room. It doesn't have any places to hide keys. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they're really hard to find. Pretty please! Try searching the walls, Mikey. The walls? That's right. Hmm, the walls. There's nothing here. Wait a second. There's a tiny hole! There's a chest back there! Woohoo! It's the first key! Hey, you got the first key, Mikey. Then, for your next hint, don't you think that painting on the wall looks suspicious? What? Was there a painting in here? Oh, I see it! Huh? It's pretty normal. Huh? Oh! Huh? You can go inside the painting! Oh, hang on! There's a chest inside! I'm opening it! Woohoo! It's a key! Nice! Number two! Good job finding it, Mikey! One more to go! JJ, what's my third hint? For your third hint, take a look around the fountain. Huh? The fountain? It must be in the fountain somewhere. Hang on a minute! It's just an ordinary fountain. Is there really a key hidden in here? You just have to keep searching, Mikey. Look very carefully. Where could it be? Here, I'll try pushing it. Huh? That sounded like something opened up! Huh? Hang on! It opened up the floor! Oh, there's a chest! No way! There's a key inside! I did it! Congratulations on finding the third key, Mikey! That means I collected all three keys! If I put these into the item frames, the doors will open, right? Mm-hmm, that's right. Beyond those doors is the goal to the security house. Oh, I wonder what kind of treasure is in there. I'll try inserting the keys. First one. Second one. Third one. Inserting now. Oh, I did it! The door's opened! Yes! Where's my reward? Huh? What's happening? Oh, sweet! There's so much! Security house you built was so much fun! Thank you! If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Plus, you can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok whenever you want with the links in the corner. Thanks for watching! See you next time!